welcome to our special guest for this evening. She began her career as a model in New Jersey before venturing into film. As fans of what we do here at Splatterama, you might remember her for her dual role as Judy and Kiki LaRue in the 80s slasher film, Doom Asylum. However, it is her hilarious performance as the lethal, lethal but beloved streetwalker, Frankenhooker, that brings us here tonight. I'm proud to present this award on behalf of Splatterama to our guest for her outstanding contribution to this much underappreciated cinematic work for this cult classic. Everyone, please give a warm welcome to the ranking hooker, Patty Mullen. <laughs> Patty's here to answer your questions, so let's get started. Uh, we'll do this for about 15 minutes, and afterwards, oh, we can do more if you want. No, I just. Oh, she was saying off because she liked the award. For 15 minutes, we'll do a Q&A session, and then afterwards, Patty will be available in the lobby to sign autographs and to take pictures. Everything is available for sale right in the lobby. So, who wants to start with the first question? Oh, come on, someone. Someone, someone's got to do it. John, Chef John, well. You got a question, I know you do. What year did you start acting? I started acting in the late 80s, and I didn't start modeling in New Jersey, it was actually New York. Um, started in the late 80s, stopped in the mid 90s. You shouldn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, John. Anyone else? Come on, ask me something great. <laughs> ask me something tricky. Right there, sir. You, you still keep contact with people from the original film? You know, yes, I do. I just uh, recently started doing horror conventions, and I've spoken with Frank Hennenotter a couple times, who is so wonderful. He's writing uh, another movie now, and he's working on a couple different projects. Um, I try to keep in touch as much as possible. Yeah. You could hear a pin drop. Come on, <laughs> ask me something. How did I meet Frank? How did I meet Frank? Um, I was called to go on the audition um, for Frank and Hooker. And Frank was at the end of his rope with stacks of pictures on his desk, you know, and he just needed. He needed somebody to be Frankenhooker, so he showed me how to make the face, and he had me read a little bit, and that, that was it. We started right away. Yes? What was your initial thoughts when you read the script? I thought it was great. <laughs> I couldn't wait to do it. And um, it was more fun than I thought it would be, really. It was, it was really, really great. He's got to do a sequel. He really does. You know, with these horror conventions, um, I was really surprised to meet a lot of different people who are, you know what, some people have lines that go on and on. Mine aren't that long, but the people that are in the lines are hardcore. Really, really hardcore. I had somebody march up to me with a bald head. You know, in army boots. I, I thought he was going to shoot me. <laughs> and he walked up and he spun around, and then the back of his head was a tattoo of Frankenhooker. That I, yeah, really, like, nice, you know? And so far, I've counted nine. We have hands, back of hands, legs, arms, um, of course, the back of the head, and uh, just a uh, you know, a whole bunch of different Frankenhooker tattoos, which, to me, ah, oh, I think it's so great. Just a comment, this one is wearing a Frankenhooker t-shirt tonight. Yeah. All right! <laughs> Good for you. All right. No tattoos out here? Uh, Babylon's still open, right, Nico? <laughs> Can I still make the face? I knew I knew somebody would ask me that. All right, 
Ready? Can you do it? Comes <laughs> quite natural. I can't do the other side though. It's just the one side. Go ahead. You know what? I just read a script from Eben Begar, who made Sick Girl and um, House of a Thousand Werewolves or something. And it's called Sick Girl 2, and I want to do that movie. He's um, putting together the budget, and um, hopefully he'll make it soon. I really, really like it. It has Nick Ober will be in it, and. Um, couple different people that are really cool. So. Was there ever talk of a sequel? <laughs> I bug him constantly. He's like, I don't know where to go with it. There's so many places you can go with it. Don't you think? Yes. I know. Jeffrey, being in his body. Jeffrey could be fixed. Jeffrey we could have Frank and babies. Yeah. We can go. We can just, I mean, it has to come from the mind of Frank, though. Frank yeah. is the, totally. you know, yeah. Frank has the mind for it. Yeah. Yeah. What was the shooting schedule, and how much fun was it on the set? On the set? <laughs> it was great on the set. Um, it was an entire summer, and we worked, you know, uh, as long as it took, really. I remember taking naps on mats, you know. We were in Harlem, we were in New Jersey, we were on the West Side Highway, we were all over the place. Um, the set was always a fun place. You know, I was in the makeup chair a lot, so I was in my own little room. And I was there a lot when Jeffrey wasn't, you know, we, we, you can see we weren't together a lot. But um, they couldn't have found a better Jeffrey, you know? He was wonderful in there. Yeah. What's that? Or Elizabeth. Or Elizabeth. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Any other good? Ah, oh, yes. Hi. Uh, Hi. Twisted out your hair. Uh, Is it real? <laughs> did you curtain smash the carpet? Did my what?
see in the movie it was gritty and you know and that was the early 90s it really was it was like that not as clean as it is today but um, yeah I wanted to leave the city I am happy here. Yeah. Yeah, I am. I am now. Anyone else? Come on. There's somebody out there. Yes? Where are you? I see you. Stoddards, you're absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Second, during the scene when all the hookers are smoking crack, they all start to spontaneously combust. Were you all set during that scene, and how funny was that to witness? <laughs> it was pretty cool. It was <laughs> and that gerbil, at the <laughs> he really didn't blow up, you know. They were cool. Somebody took him home as a pet. Yeah, I watched them explode, and um, I watched the whole process, and I found it really fascinating. It was Gabe Bartalos that, that did all that, you know, special effects. And, it was constantly pouring molds of legs and, and arms, and you know, in the studio, in the in the in the studio where we always congregated, there was always pieces of hookers around, <laughs> and legs and arms. And, yeah, it was pretty cool, really. Well, first time seeing it was excellent, and uh, thought I'd ask you. Thank you. Cool. Still beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, you can see me in the uh, lobby. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. All right, we're going to take an intermission. Patty